Well, the sun rays now are out, and besides protecting your eyes, it's always important to have a nice pair of shades to add a little flair and fashion, Teresa. Of course, mm -hmm. here to show you this summer's hottest sunglass trends is celebrity fashion stylist and Connecticut native, Pilar Steinborn. I didn't realize you were a Connecticut native, Pilar. I am. Born and raised in southern Connecticut. Um, very nice commute to the city. Yeah. Still live <laughs> right around there and haven't left. And I'm nice. now, yeah, I won't say how many years, but born and raised. Well, you're, <laughs> well the most important thing is you're here today on CT Style. We're talking about love shades. Love it, love coming. Love it. Where's the best place to find an affordable yet fashionable pair of shades? Oh, I definitely go to my little haunt and for the best quality and a range of everything for everyone. You would do the H&M, you would mm. do the TJ Maxx, the Marshalls. In those price points, you can find a little bit of high and a little bit of low, and then there's something for everyone. They have a good range. Of okay, but you can end up spending a fortune on sunglasses oh, yeah. sometimes. There's yes. really pricey ones. Absolutely. Too. Well, that's where if you go to the um, place where you can find name brands at less, that's where I would suggest going there <laughs> if you really want to <laughs> keep it within reason. How about for finding the right pair of sunglasses for your face? Everybody has a different shape, different skin tone. Absolutely. So there's three rules to go by. The first being look at yourself in the mirror. Take a look objectively and decide which one of the seven face shapes are you. There are seven. Okay. okay? And then two, go the opposite way of your shape. So what you want to do is if you're angular and pointy, you want to do something that's rectangular and square and or round. So this will uplift and proportionately adjust the face, frame of your face. Um, so yes, and the third one would be pick a cool tone. Pick a cool tone that regard to your skin color. So if it's warm, you want to do a warmer tone in the actual frame. I personally like to match the colors of the frames to your hair as mm. well. So okay. I take a little bit of note to that. So we'd have right. a dark brunette or, or black for mm -hmm. Teresa. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Makes right. sense. Well, you guys did a little road trip, huh? We did. Yeah. Pilar and I went to uh, some of the beaches here in Connecticut and, and we tried some different frames on some of the ladies. Let's start off with the ladies, Pilar. Sort of okay. walk us through some of our test subjects here. Okay, great. Well, she has more of a round face and yet though she does have an angular chin. What we did was here, we wanted to take the brow bar and focus upward. I wanted to bring the more shape towards the top of your head as opposed to bringing it down. With her, we have the cat eye. It's like a typical wayfarer. And with her, we have a nice rounded edge for the angular to balance it out. And these ladies were working it on the beach. I, I have to say, she <laughs> yes. had the bedazzled hat, as you can tell, and Pilar gives them a thumbs up to that. Next up, we have the kitties, and, and this is actually your daughter yeah, here. Yeah, this is my daughter, who's Aww. a big fan of accessories. She <laughs> actually will hint to me what we should be using, and, and I ask her why, and she definitely has her opinions. So here, with her sweetheart-shaped face, mm. she has a nice cat eye, so it brings it up and over. Very cute, very cute. How adorable. You. And then you can't forget the, the fellas. All right, of course so that's, not. that's Absolutely. very important. So okay, so for there. our gentleman here, oh, we had yeah. so much fun with him with the rectangular shape. So we went a little bit oversized just to balance out the proportion of his rectangular jaw. And so, we so the glasses that he's wearing now, those are the ones that you replace the other ones with. Exactly. Just so know it. And then this guy here, he, he actually bought these off of you. He did. Yes, he he, he bought, originally we were selling sunglasses, which was quite <laughs> comical. Oh, they um, look great on him, the aviator look. Yes, and like his wife was very happy as she had been urging him to get another type of style. So That's there cute. we were at his fingertips walking along the beach and we found him the aviator, which had an egg shaped. So the egg shapes were really kind of nice frame fitting for the size and proportion of his head. Got it. Any chance you could help Teresa and I? I, I, I yes, see that you yes. have some here in okay. Okay. here. Um, all right, I am gonna hand over for Mr. Ryan for Ooh. his uh, angular face. Sporty guy. Angular, angular jawline, more of a opposite and bring them off to the side and almost in a sporty like wrap around. Those. Get to the chopper. Get down now. <laughs> it's not a tumor. I, I feel like Terminator now. Teresa. You look good though. Yeah. You're pulling them off. You I sure? kind of even like the, the colored lens that's in there. Absolutely. Well, these Ooh. are the sport version Ooh. for him. Is that what it yeah. is? All right. Everyone should have a few pairs uh, that they yeah. use for whether it's driving or for, you know, sports activities, etc. But I think yeah, for I like Teresa, it really gives you a nice uplift. It doesn't hit the top of your cheekbones and it goes outward <laughs> on the outer frame of your face. 
And so this way it doesn't bring your face down. It actually lifts you. That's Lovely. very important. And Absolutely. Pilar, the good news is that Therese and I are starring in Men in Black 4 this summer. <laughs> and, yes, oh my gosh, and I can you. join you. You are a celeb. You look good too. Yes, they match your hair color I, perfectly. Exactly. I really like to do the colors of your um, tones for your skin and for your hair. So with this, I've done stuff that is more tonal. Makes nice. sense. I love it. Make sure you guys check out Pilar's website, PilarSteinborn.com, and you can also find her on Instagram. You just have to search for Pilar Steinborn. We appreciate you coming on the Thank show today. Thank you so much.